We're recording and we're back. We're back. Um, uh, <laughs> this episode is going to be a little crazy. hard well, to explain. I was watching um, Netflix the other night and yeah. I was going through the comedies and there's this show called The Office. Okay, I've never um, heard of from, it. It's from like the mid-2000s okay. and I was watching that but I was also like, I want to play Yu-Gi-Oh! So then I went to Inked Gaming. Oh, what? And I bought An a playmat with a Dundee on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a card. It's a card. It's just poorly photoshopped. Oh, and that's it just so Dundee. real. You win the game. Dundee flip effect. Now we're here talking about it. It was fun. We're kind of drunk flustered. with power. I think at this point we feel like we can do whatever we want. I don't think. I don't think this is gonna appeal to anyone. <laughs> what What are we doing, Jack? Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Well, um. <laughs> <laughs> So first of all, um, we would just like to give a very special shout out to our partners at Inked Gaming. If you're new to our channel, I'd love to introduce you to them. They are a, uh, a gamer supply store, I guess. Is, <laughs> what's the best way to describe Gamers it? Gamers rise up. They produce custom gaming merchandise. Yeah, you know, for, custom gaming merchandise. Especially Gear. for trading card games and PC gamers. They do stuff like... Playmats, mouse pads, mouse pads t-shirts, hoodies. We, we use our inked gaming mouse pads for playing League. Oh, it got me an S. That's true. Zaya. That's Whoa. true. Confirmed. So, yeah, so uh, a few weeks ago, I did a top 10 weirdest Yu-Gi-Oh monsters. And based off of the monsters from that list, Claire has designed a totally awesome playmat and playmat bag. And I did a avatar of the pot playmat and... Uh, uh, playmat bag. So check those out. Those are some nice subjectively, you know, you can flash your really niche interests when you show up at the at the tournament. You'd be like, you show up at the locals. You know, be like, oh, nice, nice avatar of the pod. It's like, actually, that's a subjectively reference. You don't get it yet, but you will. Check those out. They're available exclusively at Inked Gaming. Yeah. Check them out. Support them. Support us. You use the link in the description and the code subjectively10 at checkout for a 10% discount off all purchases on the website, including our stuff. And in honor of that, we are going to be doing a, uh, a, so a Yu-Gi-Oh! theme video. Now, we had a couple of different ideas for and what we were going to do for this Yu-Gi-Oh! chose the video. And one. some of them got shot down. And for some reason... This is the one we picked. It's funny. Um, but yeah, so today we are going to be doing <laughs> office characters drawn in the Yu-Gi-Oh style. <laughs> Honestly, this video might blow up. I don't even think we need to explain the office. You know what the office is. I You're not going to click like, on this video. Let's just make a more specific video. How about Christmas story characters? Right. <laughs> <laughs> My dad would love that. Okay. In the bleach style. Now I'm going to be. I'm going to be tackling Jim first. I think. Well, I'll start. I'm gonna be drawing Jim. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be drawing Jim. Jim? I'm gonna be basing it off of, I think, a picture of uh, Jaden. I think. I think you could maybe get some jelly in there too. So I'm feet. drawing Pam as Taya. This is gonna be so crazy. I feel like what makes the Yu-Gi-Oh style iconic is how pointy it is. Uh, everything is so sharp and in Yu-Gi-Oh. The fabric, whatever the clothes are, they are so like Good ruffled and it. they have their own gravity. Um, um, yeah, everyone is really angular. Everyone pretty much has the same face shape. <laughs> <laughs> this is already so crazy. The, and the thing about the office is that I think that not even the actors, but just like if you get enough of like a certain element of the character, like their color schemes, like Jim wears a lot of blue and gray, Dwight wears a lot of yellow. Like if you just get like that and then like the hair for Jim, I feel like that's enough to be able to tell that it's Jim. Or maybe not. I don't, I don't know. This. Jim, are you gonna do Dwight? <laughs> you should do Dwight. Jim, you would do a really good Dwight. I think you should. I feel like. Oh, I'm giving Pam really big boobs. Well, that's true. I mean, she, that, have you ever seen Blades of Glory? Oh, wow. I have. I looked up that scene um, probably too many times. So honestly, <laughs> the most important things to consider when you're doing any kind of portrait really is I feel like the space between the eyes, which doesn't matter with anime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the proportions of the face. The haircut, the silhouette that the hair The silhouette of the hair. And I think that's really going to come into play because hair is also really iconic. Hair is very important in Yu-Gi-Oh. I just don't think many characters have curly hair. 
Yeah. Yo, weedy well, hair. Well, you think of my. That's like his. I, g- I guess that is what Cam's like hair would look like. It's just like going sharp curls. I'm already losing my <laughs> shit. <laughs> Uh, this is so Jim actually I've never noticed this before Jim actually has pretty pronounced like angle eyebrows yeah he has bushy brows um Um, yeah I it it is funny I've talked about this before when I was a TA in in an art class when I was in art school um I did like a little uh, a presentation about character design and I used I, I had a segment about character design in live action media in movies and TV shows because there is character design in those in terms of wardrobe and casting and um, and I use The Office as an example because like there are consistencies with certain characters like I said like Dwight always wears yellow um, his hair. yeah and then like certain characters like Pam her outfits like change and her hair changes as she like grows as a character Jim too like Jim starts wearing suits and you know he goes from being a slifer slacker to like novelist blue and the novelist blue he he gets ambitious. This doesn't look anything like Jim. This is literally yeah. it's just the most basic. No, it's, right. gonna, it's gonna work out. It's gonna work okay, out. Okay, I just okay. I gotta get to the 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 hair. Jim actually has really big ears too. So let's get that. Yeah, that's the. It's good because it, it does talk about silhouette because it guides your eye up his ear. It does. Oh, Jack, that's good. Would you equate Dwight to Merrick? <laughs> <laughs> Cause that's, <laughs> that's where I'm going right now. They give off the same menacing energy. I'm sorry, I'm, you're, you're gonna draw him with a staff, right, Jen? You're gonna draw Dwight with a staff? That's a giant pen. <laughs> this is, this uh, is Jack, I have never, this is so crazy. The top of Jim's head is so flat. Like his hair is like, it almost looks like a wig. The Yu-Gi-Oh characters actually have really thin necks. Yeah. They yeah. do. Um, oh my god, this looks so fucking crazy. <laughs> it doesn't look like Jim. No, it looks exactly like Jim, what are you talking about? Um, okay. Sorry, just wait until you see Pam. Um, I... <laughs> uh, uh, I think the way it would work would be that the protagonist, he wouldn't be like... Like Kaiba, but he would be like, he would be like, he would be like Shikamaru. And then the main character would be like, why don't you, why are you such a slacker? That really pisses me off! Yeah, Jim, that, okay, that sounds pretty good, I buy that. But then they both grow So then hair. who's the protagonist? Dwight? Um, what, probably Michael. Michael? Uh, well, Michael, no, no, he, would, he wouldn't think, he wouldn't think it's cool that he's like, Maybe we're breaking all the rules and Pam is the protagonist. That would, that could work, but I feel like Pam likes slacking off too. No, Pam, Pam's... She, does, she doesn't believe in herself. Yeah, Pam just doesn't have a lot of, like, courage. She just, like, the first few seasons, she's just... She's stuck in this relationship and she doesn't know how to get out. Oh, actually, maybe I should do Roy. Roy. <laughs> Roy. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do Roy. Oh, oh, know. with the basketball game and, and Pam's on the sidelines, literally doing yeah, this. She's doing this. And and Roy and Jim are like, and they're like locking eyes, and there's like the little like bolt of lightning between them. That's good. And then Jim fucking dunks it on Roy. What is, what is a pose Dwight would do? Like definitely like. Like doing Ooh, this with his glasses. Oh, that's perfect. That's the other thing. Like Yu Gi Oh's characters, when they're wearing clothes, their shoulders are. I mean, everything's pointy, but like, look at Jaden's fucking shoulders in this. Yeah, it's wrinkling and all. Yeah. The, the, the thing about the way that this is looking, Jack, is it looks a little bit like Yu Gi Oh, but it also feels more like. like if like Marvel was like, oh, we're making a Naruto, oh, we're making yeah. An anime. yeah, like it's, it's just a Amer- well, it's, it is, it's American anime. Yeah, yeah. All right, so Pam has really small eyebrows, and I can't. Uh, the has character's a, eyebrows. She has a pretty <laughs> high hairline. She like pushes her hair back, which doesn't happen in Yu-Gi-Oh ever, but it's about to. It's about to. Someone's gonna say that. So I hate what I'm drawing right now. I really like what I'm drawing, actually. I think like. I'm just drawing Kaiba. This is really hard. Their head shapes are also pointy, and Dwight is not pointy in Dwight any way. Dwight is very round. Yeah. Give, well, Pam give him a little so bit of a chin. Like, everything about her is round and mild, which is just <laughs> not Yukio. Yeah, uh, just... Let me see that real quick. <laughs> That's pretty much... <laughs> so 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 Hold on, no, his head, his head is too wide. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, no. oh Jesus. Why did we do this, subjectivists? I'm giving him really, like, nice 
eyelashes. Like that's that's really important. Yeah, I feel like that's like all Yu-Gi-Oh characters have this kind of like. They have beautiful eyeliner. Yeah, they have mm -hmm. really nice eyeliner. So the other thing about Yu-Gi-Oh characters is when you look at them from the front, their noses are just like triangles. They're not. Yeah. They're like shadows. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. And Jim has kind of a big nose. Like Jim has a big round nose. So I don't really know how to translate that. Well, it's a really big shadow. Look, I'm trying to think of Yu-Gi-Oh characters that aren't just anime boys. I feel like when they when they don't follow this like specific. Design. I mean, one of the things that's they really... They go so crazy in the other direction, and they give them, like, a giant, like, clown nose. And they look yeah. like a One Piece character. Yeah. yeah. A lot of characters in sex all look like One Piece characters. Yeah, that, that one Barian guy to wear the mohawk. Yeah. Um, Garag. Yeah. We never finished sex a lot. Of We're almost done with sex all. That's good. That's how you... You can alienate your fans by making a Yu-Gi-Oh video, and then you can alienate your Yu-Gi-Oh fans by talking about sex all. It works. I, what series, like, do you imagine Jim being in? Like, this character. He's he's looking like... He kind of feels 5 these things. I'm having really a lot of trouble with this hand. I'm having trouble too, because it's not about drawing a hand well, it's about making it look like an anime hand. <laughs> that, does, that does look like Pam, though. I think actually giving it that hand was That's pretty perfect. I think that at least seasons 1 through 3, Pam. That's what I like. For you very specific Office fans. Season Zero fan. Season it's actually zero really fan violent. Would actually be epic. <laughs> Michael actually looks so scary. You know how scary Steve Crow looks in the first season of The Office? Well, in Season Zero, he actually looks terrified. <laughs> I'm really just... I'm just taking this all in right now. You're doing the clothes very well. Um, okay. Then, of course, we need that iconic shading. So, Derek, how many times have you watched... Oh, well, that's true. I have watched through The Office at least maybe 10, 20, 40, I don't know. I've been watching The Office since it started showing on TV when I was like six. No, I wasn't that young. 2005? Maybe? Oh, I'm like nine. Yeah. Um, yeah, my Which mom is was, crazy. It's crazy. My mom was really overprotective when I was a kid in terms of like the type of media that me and my sisters could consume. Um, but she liked The Office, and she said it was okay for us to watch The Office. So we watched The Office, my whole family, and we still do. It's on Netflix, and uh, I watch it pretty much just like if I need something on in the background, I'll just put it on. Um, but yeah, I watch it, and when I finish the series, I just start it again from the beginning. I think I made Pam's boobs too big. That's impossible. That's that is impossible. <laughs> it, impossible. <laughs> And then the, also the question is, what would their ace monsters be? Oh, that's oh. true. What would they duel with? Desk bots. Well, Pam's a girl, so she doesn't really duel. <laughs> she does duel. This is this is girl, our this is our world. Girls duel in brains, and they're only going to be more girls dueling, ideally. Hopefully. And maybe the next protagonist would be a girl. I, I hope. Be, Definitely not. That would be really But that'd be cool. awesome. That's okay. Oh, uh, looks. I think. So I, I mean, I think the white deck would be. Beast scary. Warriors, like yeah, oh, it would yeah. it would actually be like like just picture like the worst jelly monsters, the bad like he's like these yeah, are awesome. Yeah, he would love shit like that. I honestly have no idea how <laughs> this is going to turn out to be because this is one of the most abstract things I've ever done. It's crazy. This is I can't believe we're doing it. I can't I believe, believe how well I it's can going. absolutely believe that. <laughs> I mean, it makes perfect sense. We love Yu-Gi-Oh! I love The Office. I, I love The Office too. I'm not nearly as fed with as knowledge of The Office. Fed. I, Jack I, is. I, I once thought that it was like... Could you quote an episode? I uh, definitely could. I could probably quote... Start quoting it now. Go <laughs> I could probably quote any episode through seasons one through three. I do. <laughs> um, I don't do think the one I would where, do that. Do the one where Dwight gets a concussion. <laughs> that's a good one because that starts with Michael. <laughs> that starts that's with Michael burns his foot. Burns right? his foot. That oh, episode. that is a really good episode. How does that go? Doesn't he put his foot in the toaster? Right? Yeah, what does he do? He puts his foot, foot in, in like a what? <laughs> yeah, but like, how does that play out in the show, Jack? I'm okay, wondering. so Jim and Pam, <laughs> Jim and Pam are sitting at the receptionist's desk. <laughs> And they're talking to each other. I can't exactly remember what their conversation is. It's probably something like, ha, nice jelly beans. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, right, because it's anime. 
<laughs> nice jelly mo- oh, <laughs> So, uh, Pam, what are you doing this weekend? Um, then the phone rings. I'm tending to the garden. The garden of no, love. No, she's painting and designing. I think this is before she talked about that, right? I know, but... Well, she, she... Before she goes to graphic design Well, school. it's definitely before she goes to Pratt. She literally goes to Pratt. Mm-hmm. That's actually me. She goes to Pratt and then she fails. Spoilers. Oh, sorry. No. Oh, yeah. Nick went to Pratt. I did go to Pratt. Well, there's an alternate universe where Nick and I went to Pratt. Yeah. And I'd probably be dead. And we're drawing alternate universe Nick and Jack. Don't, Pratt. Claire, don't be cancer during that because that's style. really funny. That is, See, that is good. We would st- that's we're gonna, gonna be, that's when we're actually going to be so fucking subversive. <laughs> so sub- fucking subjective. We draw, subjectivists draw themselves in alternate realities as <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh characters. It looks like the cover on a box of ink pens. Oh yeah, oh it does. <laughs> So, backtracking a few years ago, I got really sick, and I was laying in bed, and Dwight came to you. I was watching The Office and uh, sleeping on and off because I was really sick, and I can't remember the episode. It was one of the episodes after um, Jim and Pam have a baby, and I was like, oh, whatever, cool. I was at my ex's house in England, um, and- Oh, I do know, sorry. (laughs) And I didn't know that he had been like on Netflix and I woke up and uh, all the office characters were like <laughs> dressed in post-apocalyptic gear and it was snowing and like they were on a train <laughs> and I was, I could barely see and then I realized it was snow here. Okay, I think I'm pretty much done. Um, That's so crazy, Jack. With <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! J- oh wait, should I give him a tool? Um, no, that's that's fine. Let's, let's get Nick started. Yeah, I'm pretty much done. Okay, this is the question: Who should I draw? I think I don't know, I'm kind of tied between Roy and Kevin. Roy is definitely the funniest because you can make him fucking huge. <laughs> the thing about the thing about Kevin that I don't want to do is he would be Ke- the thing is he would look so fucking gross. No, and that's they would just make not him. Nice. They would make him really gross looking. And that's just not. And that's unfortunate that that's the case. But yeah, if you're uh, if you're not the main character, if you're not fucking lean, like, ripped. If you're um, not skinny ripped or twelve, you better you better, you better be yourself. an old man or fat as shit. Um, or like or like just a muppet, just straight up, just like don't even look like a human anymore. Yeah, that's how, yeah, that's so crazy because he's one of the only characters that looks like that. I think you should draw Roy. Okay. okay. Or or. Honestly, Ryan is kind of speaking to me a but little bit. But then also, I'm kind I of thinking really, of Angela, too. I really, really, really want to see Kelly. <laughs> Kelly is good, too. Kelly would be good, too. Kelly is good, too. I'm picturing, um, who's the thing that? about Star Oh, but... yeah. I, I don't know. Roy would be really funny, I think. I'll do Ryan. I think Roy would be really funny. You know what? This is gonna be harder than I thought. <laughs> He's way more normal looking than I remember. I'm I'm looking at some villains because I'm gonna base Roy off of villain. Oh, and then Trudge would be good. Oh, Trudge definitely. Well, there's one episode of The Office that when I watch through, Claire always makes me skip, and it's Scott's Tots. What's what is that? <laughs> the premise of that episode is that Michael had made a pledge to a group of second graders that if they all graduated high school, he would pay for their college tuition. Oh, Jesus. And then they graduate high school, and he can't afford to pay for any of their college tuition, and he has to go to their school and tell them that he can't pay for their tuition. Yes, Jay, that's so good. That's the perfect pose. That's so good. Okay, this is fucking insane. Cell shading is really weird because you have to have like so much confidence in your fake lighting source. I know, it, it's really inconsistent. Because it's like, it's like this is going to get a shadow and this is going to get a shadow. And for some reason it works even though there's really no consistent light source. Damn, those are really nice. <laughs> Oh boy! Oh, nice. I'm trying to figure out what to do. I'm kind of in this weird place where it's like I'm just conf- I don't know how to make it too crazy, but I also feel like this is kind oh, of wait, no, tame. Oh wait, no, Nick. That mouth, because it's like it's not quite a W mouth. It's like a wide W mouth. Okay. You no, know what I'm saying? Oh, like, okay, you can just do that. Or like grumpy, but like almost toad-like. I guess if you're a bad guy in Yu-Gi-Oh, you have really small eyes. Yeah. Because you don't have to emote, you can only you only ever have to be angry and then when you get beaten, your eyes get really wide. Oh! oh there's really dark shadows. I may actually make the light really go back in this.
Alright guys, so there are our office characters so, as in the Yu-Gi-Oh style. This was really cool, right guys? You uh, really enjoyed this? You want a part two, right? Uh, uh, so I know you're probably thinking, where is Ailish during this episode? Um, she is AFK right now. However, she did want us to tell you that uh, Heya is currently playing in the Uber that she is in uh, right now. Um, so just to, just to let you know, just to keep you updated, Heya is playing in the Uber. Um, and thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to check out our partner in gaming. Don't don't forget this is for. That's what this is for, if you can believe it. Um, yeah, check, be sure to check out our uh, cool subjectively themed designs. Uh, get yourself a play mat. Yu-Gi-Oh fans rise up. Uh, uh, Office Wizard. fans rise up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, anime fans. Anime fans. Uh, you know get mad at us in the comments, which mm. is warranted. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. Peace.